Good morning everybody, I am Amalgamash, welcome back to the channel. If you clicked on this video, you fall into one of three groups of people. One, you don't really care what the video is and you're just here to support me, in which case I thank you. Two, you don't know anything about Smile Game Builder or SGB or RPG Maker MV or the MV3D plugin. And you are looking for an earnest response to the question that I pose in my title. Namely, which one is better, NV or SGB? Or you fall into the third camp of people who have tried both perhaps in a limited fashion or perhaps you've tested their full abilities and you already have your answer and you're ready to fight me in the comments below. In which case, I welcome being verbally punched in the face. I wanted to start this video out with people ask me all the time, which one's better? And that would obviously be sarcasm. But then, four days ago, Spectre uh, in my YouTube comments actually asked me the question. I was blown away. Now, I'm part of a couple of different Discord communities, and I do try to actually defend both of these engines. I've had this conversation a few times in a couple of different ways, and each time I take my probably infuriating neutral stance. Both of these engines are different tools. They both have the same fundamental function, the same basic purpose, which is to make your game uh, a, a role-playing game of some sort. Try to break those boundaries and, well, you can do that and still end up with something that's not a role-playing game if you wish, but you'll have to work a little bit extra hard at it. Ultimately, they're both designed for a person with no knowledge of programming, or perhaps some knowledge of programming, but who doesn't want to use that knowledge, who already wants the framework of an engine that can provide you with things like a battle system, a mapping system, tiling, eventing, plug and play, drag and drop, painting a canvas, boom, you've got an RPG. And that's perfectly fine. They're both awesome tools for that job. These two tools are probably compared more than anything because SGB has a bit of a small community, but it's noticeable. Smile Boom, its developer, has been working on software that teaches you how to build games with and without having programming knowledge for a long time now. And the RPG Maker community has always kind of been around, ready to defend their platform and also attack their own platform because of the inconsistencies within each version as, as new RPG makers come out. The question posed by Spectre was, what do you prefer, SGB or RPG Maker? What are your thoughts on MZ? I'm basically going to read my response verbatim because this is a question that I think a lot of people should ask. As a developer, it's your right to know what kind of comparisons should I be making between two given tools? What can I expect to see that's different between them? Where should my money go? And so my stance now is I have seen opinions pegging one or the other as better, but in my mind they're not going to check the same boxes every time for every user on every project. This does not pit them squarely at odds with each other in my opinion, but rather makes them both decent tools for very specific jobs. Now if your specific job is, but I want to make a role-playing game, well I'm sorry, that's a little bit vague and you're gonna have to play 20 questions in order to really decide which tool is right for you. The versatility and extensibility that RPG Maker MV has, and I guess MZ whenever it finishes coming out, do give it an edge if your focus is eventing. And it is very possible through a lot of work to make your, gra your game shit. And it is very possible through a lot of work, apparently, to make your game graphically diverse from other games that are made in the engine. Let's face it, RPG Maker has kind of a stigma where all of the games look the same. That's really kind of more of a issue of the engine being wildly available, probably through pirated means, to a lot of people who just wanted to sit back and make a silly game with their friends. And then they published it on the internet and now you can download thousands of RPG Maker games that all use the same default assets. I'm not saying SGB isn't a victim of the exact same problem, there just aren't as many games and SGB has a smaller community so it's less noticeable. SGB's eventing system is very what you see is what you get. It is very basic. Making complex events is, in my opinion, kind of like already knowing what you want to do but having to figure out how to take baby steps to do it. It's like if you already knew how to program in C-sharp 
but you had to learn assembly in order to tell a robot what to do. With the MV3D plugin, which I try very hard to push and promote on this channel, it becomes possible to compare the two engines in more of a fair sense. MV is still an engine made for making 2D games, so it is up to the user to learn how to wrap their head around using this 2D game engine to create a 3D game using that plugin. It is doable for sure. But SGB excels in that area because its interface is more intuitive. It was designed for the user to make a 3D game. NV 3D also does not, at least so far at the time of this video, give the capability to use animated 3D objects. Now, I don't think it will be a problem for the developer in the future to implement another file type such as FBX in order for this to happen. It just hasn't happened yet. We are limited to, I believe, just object files. At the time of this video, again, that's very important, just object files, which are static by nature and they don't support animation. There's a lot of different 3D file formats out there if you didn't know, just like there's a lot of different 2D file formats that have different properties and there are different reasons for using each one. Just like these two engines have different properties and there are different reasons for using each one. SGB does provide access to FBX files. The Filmbox 3D file format does allow for animation which gives us 3D characters that can move around. SGB wins in the deployment capability area for me because you can export your project to Unity and from Unity you can export it to virtually any platform from there. Theoretically you can make a game uh, on the Nintendo new 3DS which is one of my projects and a goal that I hope to achieve right here on the channel. But this might not matter so much because most platforms should actually support the HTML5 file that is created by MV at this point. Uh, the fact is, I do know that SGB games can and have been published on Steam, and there has even been one at the time of this video published on Switch. Strangers of the Power 3 was made in Smile Game Builder, and it was published to the Nintendo Switch platform. It's available right now, but I can't find a game out there on a console platform that I'm 100% certain was made in RPG Maker MV. If you do know of any, please let me know what they are. I'd be very interested to know. I've seen a lot of games out there, just not sure if any of them were made in RPG Maker. A lot of them look like they could have been, but it's hard to tell. Both of these engines do suffer if you know one of the uh, big boy engines like Unreal or Unity and you really don't need access to the framework that either one of them provide. You already know what you're going to do with your uh, engine and how you're going to make your game and the limitations that you have already knowing how to code already give you an incredible edge but the framework provided by both of the engines SGB and MV3D with MV uh, really save a ton of time. If you're playing with a smaller amount of time or a budget and you don't need the versatility that you would get by knowing how to program everything from scratch, you're perfectly fine. So the basis of my viewpoint is one is kind of an open-ended wrench and the other is a socket driver. They'll both do roughly the same job at the end of the day, but to really make the choice between the two and which one to spend your hard-earned money on, you're going to have to take a good look at your goals and what your specific needs are. I respect both of them. I'm still waiting for that wow reveal with MZ though. I don't really know what to think about MZ. I, I'm glad it has layers. Honestly, if Yanfly uh, comes back out and takes all 200 of their MV plugins and republishes them for the MZ engine, and uh, Cutie Virus makes the MV3D plugin MZ3D, then I think the engine would be well worth buying at that point because you would have that versatility that you need. But as a 2D engine, uh, and I'm not really here to give my thoughts on an engine that hasn't even been released yet at the time of this video, uh, I'm, I'm not going to be buying it until it has a deep, deep discount. I don't really want to do an in-depth comparison of the two engines. You have the ability to go and download the trial versions of each one to make that decision yourself, but I will go ahead and provide a couple of use cases. So right here is RPG Maker MV. This is obviously using the MV3 plugin. I've got it in perspective camera mode right now, and I'm using a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller to move my character around. Uh, the caveat here is I actually had to write my own plugin for this gamepad support. Uh, you are stuck with a 2D character for now. There's no support for 3D characters or animations, and everything you can kind of tell what kinds of uh, stuff you're going to have to be dealing with if you want a free moving camera like this. But if we don't touch the right control panel or control stick and we move our character around, this is really more the type of game you are likely to see for now.
And you can do stuff like this, which looks quite a bit prettier. This uh, engine is perfectly capable of creating a game that looks like an homage to the classics, a uh, PlayStation role-playing game, original PlayStation. That's what I would use this for, and that's what I am planning on using this for. I have a big project that I can only use uh, MV for right now. SGB just can't do what I really, really needed to do for this project that I'm working on in particular. However, however, as already stated, you're not going to be able to have this beautiful 3D character uh, using an engine like MV, even with the 3D plugin. Some other issues that I can name off the top of my head right now. Uh, with SGB, you have very, very limited controls. You don't have access to the entire keyboard when you want to make a game and customize your own controls, for example. You would have to make do with just a few buttons that you do have access to. You can take the key for dashing and disable that and use that key for something else. Right now I'm playing a game called Shadow Fear which uses the dash key in order to display a map on the screen instead. So you can't have dash but you can have a map. And things like that whereas RPG Maker has usually allowed you to use the entire keyboard for whatever you want. There are a couple of game pads that you can use. You definitely cannot use the DualShock uh, at least with SGB out of the box. I'm sure and there's no real reason why you couldn't be able to set up that compatibility using Unity. I haven't been able to play a game yet where I could use my DualShock. I guess if you wanted to use a game, uh, if you wanted to use an app like uh, Joy 2 Pad or something, whatever that one's called, you could do that. Joy 2 Key. But I really don't see the purpose of putting that burden on the user if you've got the capability of doing it in the engine. Those are off the top of my head. The eventing system for SGB is really something you've got to wrap your head around, but once you get used to it, things are fine. You can't script. In MV, you can script. Both of these engines, especially if you're going to be using MV3D, are a great way to get into 3D game development. They are an excellent, excellent bridge, both of them, from getting your 2D game development roots, if you have any, from using uh, RPG Maker, RPG Toolkit, or the Wolf RPG Editor, any of those, and getting incentivized to develop that skill set and learn more about 3D. I know that I wanted to learn a lot more about 3D, and thanks to this engine and MV3D, I know marginally more about it than I did several years ago when I first got into these. No, but for real, it's it's been a... For real, both of them have been awesome for that job. So, take a good look at what your specific needs are for your game project, and you can make this decision yourself. I'm going to be making a project in SGB that I feel would be better represented by that engine that I don't want to use MV4 or MV3D, and I'm going to be making a project in MV that I feel would be impossible to do in SGB, and that's that. I hope this video shed some light on the comparison between the two engines, and while you are watching, I want you to go out and research a third option. There's something out there called RPG Paper Maker. It's actually been out there a while. I supported the development a long time ago by purchasing a full license, and I plan on doing a few videos on that program as well, as well as gameplay videos of all of the games I can find for it. RPG Paper Maker was developed by a French developer named Wano. And you can go check out the link in the description below to see what that's about, download the free trial. It also allows you to make a 3D environment, but with 2D sprites. So think of Paper Mario, but it looks like the developer wants it to have extensibility, kind of like RPG Maker does. So RPG Paper Maker might be a viable third option in its own right that can do the same fundamental job as these two engines, yet provide its own specific set of tools that can help you achieve your project goals. Wake up. Wake up. I'm done. I'm done. You can wake up now. I said wake up. Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video and for listening to my ranting and raving, and I hope that you learned something. If you had fun or learned something new, Please share. I'll do anything for subs. I need those subs. What else should I even cover? What should I do, guys? I mean, my schedule's full. I have a lot to do and a lot to show you. I really do. But, you know, specifically, give me requests. I need to know what you want to see. What do you want to see? Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.